I can see that the message is being recorded. Okay. So I'm going to be your media studies teacher. And uh, actually, I'm new to this college. Um, and I think, I believe this is an introductory class for media studies for those who have uh, selected media studies. Um, yes, I have asked you to make me the host so I can, uh, I have a small presentation. Actually, a couple of things that I want to share with you. Um, I'm going to keep my camera off because I'm not feeling well today other days i can keep it on so because of that i'm going to keep it um, off but i will be behind the screen teaching you okay but today's session i'm not actually going to teach you um like from lesson one right from the start i will do it later uh, but before that i would like to know whether you all are planning to do media studies for A levels in 2024 or 2023. Uh, you can either tell me or you can put it into the chat box. Let me see whether, yeah, okay, so I can see. Um, we have students here who are planning to do. Uh, they are A-levels in 2023 or 2024. Good, right. So um, now I would like to know whether there is anyone, now especially this question is for the 2023 students. Have you studied media studies anywhere before? Like in school or, you know, some other class, right? Or you are also going to start from the beginning. You have never learned. This question is for the 2023 students, right? Um, are you doing it for the first time? You have never learned? Okay, so some of you have um, learned media studies in school, right? And then uh, in the 2023 group, I can see that there are some who has never studied media studies. So, okay, let me briefly um, <clears throat> tell you this. The 2023 class is going to be a speed theory class. What I mean by that is within a very short period of time, please keep your mics off, right? Within a very short period of time, um, I will be covering the entire syllabus for you. Somebody's mic is on and it's a disturbance. I think we all are aware of this technology by now. Uh, so please keep your mics off right uh, i know these kind of accidents can happen but be be mindful of uh, these uh, little things right um so 2023 students this message is for you right i will be doing a speed theory class which means the 12 lessons right the 12 lessons of the syllabus will be covered somewhat faster because our target is to cover all 12 lessons uh, by um, your exam month next year right but the 2024 one it will be a it will be a class which a, a normal theory class right so we have plenty of time we can cover the 12 lessons um, you know taking some time and you know uh, we don't have to speed it. Uh, so there, there are some questions about the 2022 group. 2022, actually, I will not be, uh, because you will be uh, doing the class in, uh, sorry, you will be uh, doing the exam in January. Right now it's December. So I will actually not be doing a class for 2022 students. Um, in uh, this particular college, your college, Sateha College, right? So you can, um, I think it's it's clarified now because there's no time, right? Within just a few weeks, how are we going to, and what are we going to do, right? Um, however, if, you, if the college is willing, I can organize some seminars for you, uh, like a couple of seminars in which I can teach you 
how to write answers uh, according to the expected structure uh, for the paper, right? Because I'm a paper marking examiner as well. Um, I can teach you that and I can teach you some target questions, right? Uh, you can talk about this uh, with Sadeha College and let me know and we can organize if, if they can organize a couple of seminars for the 2022 students, uh, I can see what I can do in uh, uh, either within the couple of weeks that's left for us before the exam. This is for the 2022 students, okay? So I hope it's clear. 2023, it's going to be a little bit speedy, right? But we are going to cover all 12 lessons. And it's a theory class, 2024. We're going to do a normal theory class, right? 2022, there's no time left to do a class for you, but um, you can speak to this college and uh, organize one or two seminars in which um, I can teach you how to answer questions according to the expected uh, standard, the structure, and some target areas that will definitely come for the exam, okay? Um, uh, I think that is clear now, right? Any other questions regarding this? Right, okay. So you have to work with me through the college, okay? I will not be communicating directly with you. You have to communicate with the college and the college will guide you on how to join my classes, right? Oh, okay, um, now the next thing that I'm going to do is, um, I am going to introduce this subject to you, right? Because there are some of you, a uh, few of you who knows what the subject is. And then there are few of you who don't know anything at all, who have never studied media. So I'm going to take, just a couple of minutes and tell you what this subject is, right? And if you have any doubts that you're doing this for the first time and you are planning to do it within a very short period of time, right? I think uh, this next couple of minutes, I'm gonna take you uh, take you through the syllabus, okay? Um, and, and just tell you briefly what this subject is about, right? So as you can see, the name of the subject is Communication and Media Studies, and it's a local A-level subject. It has been in the local A-level uh, uh, art stream, and commerce students can also do, uh, opt to do this, right? There's no problem with it. If you're a commerce student, you can select to do media. If you're an art student, you can definitely do media. Um, there's no problem with that. Right from 2010, um, it was introduced to the local curriculum. It's a somewhat new subject, but it's every year the number of students who are taking this subject, um, we see a massive increase, right? Because of various reasons, um, it's a very interesting subject also. And it's a subject that you can easily get through, okay? And you can not only get through, you can get through with a very good grade also. All what you need to have is your notes and uh, you should be committed to study, okay? Because it's a very much theory-based subject. It is a lot to do with reading, studying, and writing, okay? There's no maths and science in it. Um, and it's, especially if you're a private candidate, right? who are planning to do um, A-levels in just a couple of months, this would be ideal for you, but you need to have the commitment from your side. So I am, um, I hope you can see my screen, okay? This is me, today I'm keeping my camera off because I'm not well. Uh, I'm a teacher of mass communication, right? I teach mass media for Cambridge levels and also local A levels. And um, so you can see my qualifications. I have a, a BA in mass communication. Currently, I'm doing my master's in mass communication at University of Kalania, right? And I am a paper marking examiner 
uh, for local A levels as well. Right, apart from that, I'm involved in media research work. Right, so that's me. And then if I tell you a little bit about this subject, right, for those who are doing it for the first time, it's mostly to do with mass media, something that we are very um, much familiar with today. And we will learn about mass media, social media, films, right? And also communication, human communication, communication theories, communication models, right? So there's nothing difficult in it actually, right? Um, only thing, again, I'm telling you, you should be a good reader. You should be, a, you should be committed to studying to do this subject, right? Z-score for media is generally high, okay? Every year. It's a known thing. Uh, so, uh, keep your mics off, please. If you have a question, please, you, you may put your hand up first then you can unmute and ask, right? Otherwise, it's a disturbance. Yes, Amit, you can ask your question. Amit, you have a question? Rayhan, you have a question? Your mic's on. I can't hear you properly. If you have a question, you can either ask me directly or you can type it in the chat box also, okay? So generally, we are connected to each other in today's world, mainly through social media, internet, um, and then mass media like radio, television, and uh, newspapers, for example. And then when it comes to social media, you know how powerful it is today and its influence, right? Um, you know, there's this latest thing called the hashtag culture, right? And these things are, you are, th these things are things that you're very much familiar with. And not only that, you know, its influence also. That is one of the main areas that we will be talking about in this um, subject, okay? And also, you're already familiar with things like films, games, comics, right? Um, and television, right? And music industry, right? Um, so these are also some of the things that we will be learning in this syllabus, right? Um, so your subject name is communication and media studies which means your subject has two main components, communication studies and media studies. These are two different areas in the media category, right? So some universities of, a, uh, if you can see uh, some universities in the world of a communication studies courses, some universities of a media studies courses. So this is a combination of both. So some of your lessons will be about communication, some of your lessons will be about media. Some of your lessons will be about both, right? For grade 12, there are six lessons, right? As you can see here, these are the six lessons, right? So um, in the grade 12 lessons, you are learning about the fundamentals of communication, basics of mass media, social media, new media, cultural impact of media and um, something called media literacy and media criticism. That is basically about how to be safe in um, today's world, uh, especially how to be safe from the media's negative effect, right? So especially if the first, second, third, fourth lessons are extremely important for you if you're continuing this subject, because it is in those four lessons that you're taught the basics, terminology, concepts, theories, 
without following the first four lessons, especially second, third, and fourth lesson, you will not understand most of the things in the other lessons of the syllabus. Right? So it's very important if you're taking this that you study it from the beginning. Those who have already um, already those who have already um, studied this subject, right? I strongly advise you to do it from the beginning with me if you're doing it just to see I know a lot of uh, students I have met from different schools who have not learned these things properly some teachers have skipped certain lessons because they don't know how to teach it right I think uh, I uh, strongly encourage you to follow these subjects um, from lesson one itself so that is for grade 12 work and grade 13 also you have six other lessons. So all together you can see there are 12 lessons in this syllabus. So the target is to cover the theory of these 12 lessons before the exam. Right? And you separate that itself is taking a lot of time and energy and uh, because of that the papers and revision work will be done in a uh, will have to be done in separate classes. Right. So grade 13, you have six lessons again. Grade 13 lessons are mostly focused on things like event management, public relations, creative communication, where you learned about television and cinema. And then um, ninth lesson is very interesting. It is about uh, how you can use communication and media for the development of the country. Uh, media law. <laughs> media regulations, right? Keep the mics off, right? And then the latest trends that we see in media today. And finally, you're learning about communication and media research and survey. Your last lesson is very important for your university work also because when you go to university, you're required to do a research, right? And it is teaching you the basics of doing research. Whatever you do, not only media, whatever you select to do, you are uh, required to do a research in the university. It is teaching you the basics of um, doing a research, right? Um, so those are the lessons that we have to cover if we are uh, going for the A-level exam. You have to know everything from these 12 lessons. Why? The question paper is a mix of all these questions, okay? All these lessons, second paper specifically, the questions are, um, you know, formed in a way that um, it's all mixed up. So you cannot skip seventh lesson, eighth lesson, and sixth lesson and go for the exam you will have no questions to select from in the second paper. All 12 lessons, every single thing in all 12 lessons, you should know. That is one rule um, uh, to do media studies for A-levels. All 12 lessons you have to learn, you have to study and be prepared. That's how the paper is made, right? Uh, so, Wait, let me check your questions. No, these classes will only be online. 2022, I don't think. Uh, we have time for this. Okay, um, so what I can do is if, if the college is willing and they can organize some seminars for you, you can uh, contact me through the college and then have a couple of seminars in which we can do some um, preparation for the A-level paper and uh, I can teach you how to write answers and I can I will not be able to teach you everything, but some target areas I'll be able to briefly uh, teach you, right? But that is up to the college. You can discuss with the college and um, the college will let me know, right? So if you're a private candidate, don't worry at all. I have taught many private candidates 
over the years and um, they get very good results and they get even A's and B's. I have taught them online. I have never met them in my life and um, they are commitment, right? They followed the classes properly. They never got, hardly ever got absent um, and studied and came for the paper classes, did the paper practice and they passed with excellent results. If you're a private candidate, media is actually an ideal subject for you to do, right? Um, you don't have to go to school. You have the notes. If you know what's in the notes and if you know how to write the answers, you can. You can go for a very good result also. Okay. Okay, lots of questions. Uh, yeah, if you're a private candidate, again, don't worry. You can do it in 2023. Uh, but you have to strictly follow the classroom classes properly, study the theory, get the practice of writing answers, right? Um, okay, so... Now this here. Yeah, yes, definitely you can select media if you're planning to uh, do law, right? Most of my students are studying law, right? My school students and some of the students are taught privately, right? Um, you can, you can definitely do law uh, after following media studies, but you will have to, I think you will have to follow a logic, I think right it would be ideal for you to select logic also as one of the subjects right uh, i think it's not compulsory but i think it will be uh, beneficial for you if you do logic okay now listen to me right then gonna you know you understand right the structure of this subject Right? It's very simple, you know, there's nothing complicated. You just have to know the theory really well from these 12 lessons and then get the practice to write answers to the paper. Then you're ready to face your level exams, not only face it, but also to pass it to a very good grade, right? So in the subject, again, we are learning a lot of things about media, uh, media, and media's influence and how it has changed our lives, how it changes the way we behave and think, and you know, how it has affected our society, how it has transformed our cultures and how to be safe from media, right? So those are the things that we will be learning in that, right? Yeah, um, I think you will have to ask uh, whether ICT is offered or not, you have to ask from Sateha College, okay? Uh, I'm sure they have, you can ask them, right? They will speak to you at the end of my class and you can put all your questions uh, when, when um, um, they are addressing you at the end of this class, right? So again, we will be learning about something called media literacy. It is about how to be safe in media, how to use media um, as a critical receiver. Most of us are using just media, you know, it's we have become addicted to it. We depend on it. We believe in everything that we see or, you know, come across in it because it's very close to us today, right? It is in our smart device. It's just fingertip away. So everything that we see in it, we live our lives. We, you know, we imitate the things that we see in it. We follow the trends that we see in it. And ultimately, we don't understand the fact that media is an industry, okay? It's making a lot of money by, you know, keeping us, um, you know, uh, constantly glued to the media. They are making a lot of money by using us, right? But we don't know this. Um, so we have become slaves to media, 
right? And the other thing is the standards that the media is, uh, you know, setting. Media, for example, tells us if you're a woman, you have to look like this. You know, if you're a man, you have to look like this. These are the things that you, you should drive this latest car and have this latest phone, you know. Um, you know, you should dress this way. You should be, you should have this skin color, right? And then we follow these things exactly, right? So we are in this constant struggle of getting that latest car and buying that latest device, right? Looking like, you know, the models that we see in the media where we don't necessarily have to, right? So these are the things, the trends that the media is setting. And most of the time we become slaves to these kind of things because we don't understand media's role and who's behind media. Why are they setting standards? Like, do we really have to be like that, right? So these are the things that we will be learning under the media topics of this syllabus, right? And also we'll be learning about Americanization of media, right? Globalization of media where um, we know the influence of Hollywood all across the world. And their pop culture, its influence on cultures like ours, right? Where our film industry, now you know, India has a very powerful South Indian film, film industry, Bollywood film industry, right? What about Sri Lankan cinema? Why can't we go up to the stand? Who has, you know, overtaken our industry? Mostly we are influenced by the Bollywood culture. And then there is this Western <coughs> um, Hollywood influence also, right? And how has it changed our culture? So we had a very unique, authentic culture. What has happened to our culture as a result of media's influence, right? Um, and how our main, our local media has to struggle to keep up with Bollywood standards and to keep up with Hollywood standards, right? Another area we will be now, I told you your subject has two topics, communication and media. So this communication topic, basically a media topic is where we talk about stuff like this. And then when it comes to communication topic calls, we have some very um, interesting lessons. Um, one of the lessons is the ninth lesson, for example, is using communication for development. Now, this is a concept that is used by UNICEF, UNESCO, United, all umbrella organizations of the United Nations, right? where we make use of communication and media to assist national development of third world countries, right? So it is a concept that has been there from the 1960s and it is widely used today to achieve development goals of third world countries like us, right? Um, so we, we will be learning about those kind of things also. And if you're in case thinking, what can you become? after doing a subject or what is the scope for this subject right first thing you can just do it as a subject because you need a third subject uh, for your a levels you may have plenty uh, other plans right to become a lawyer to do you know sociology or you know something else right and you need a third subject media is the ideal one for you to select right but you have to do it properly and then secondly, if you are interested to work in the field of media, then this is the ideal choice for you, right? So when it comes to the communication and media field, there are plenty of, uh, plenty of job opportunities for you from social media to public relations, to event management, to marketing, to management, advertising, and then um, networking, researching. And then when you come to the film side, right? Um, filmmaking, television production, right? Um, these kind of things are also some of the things that you can do. And you can completely not do any of these things and do something else also. Just do media for the sake of A-levels and do something else also in your life. There are thousands of jobs, honestly, right? You can, not thousands actually, hundreds, let's be realistic. Hundreds of things that you can do by qualifying in media studies. You can study it in local universities. There are private universities also where you can get yourself qualified in media. 
and communication. And if you do so, there are plenty of jobs, but you can do something else also always after A levels, right? You can be a journalist, definitely. This is a subject for journalists, right? And um, you can be writers, right? And uh, social media, you know, various jobs involving social media, right? Um, yeah, right? So that is the scope for the subject, okay? Um, any questions about the subject before I... Uh, Start on a lesson. Okay, and the other thing, other thing is, right? There aren't any English media media books in any any bookshop, right? Um, there you will not find English medium past papers also in any bookshop, right? Um, also, if you are doing 2023 or 2024 or to even 2022 A levels, the relevant papers for you are only the new syllabus papers, which is the 2020 paper, 2021 paper, then 2022 paper, right? So don't worry about looking for papers you will not find it. Those three years papers are the only ones who's relevant to you. Other ones are all syllabus papers. Those three papers I can give you, okay? Mm -hmm. And the textbooks of various kinds, you will not find anywhere. There is one book uh, written by Bernard J. J. Dasan, but that book he wrote mostly based on the old syllabus. And so I wouldn't recommend that book because um, it's not complete, right? He, he died a few years ago. Um, and then um, I think the publisher has taken certain parts from here and there. And, uh, it's continuing to publish it. You will not get much from that. Apart from that, you will not find. So then in case if you're worried, right? Um, the good news is I have written a booklet for each lesson, right? Let me share it with you on the screen. And these are my personal ones, which I will be publishing in the future. I'm just editing those. Those who attend the class can get um, a copy of each. So I can show you what I, for example, now this is unit seven. Okay. So for each lesson, you can see now this is a booklet for unit seven. So there are 12 booklets like this for the 12 lessons. Okay. It has all the theory that you have to know for your A level exam. Okay. So for seventh lesson, you have to learn camera angles in the cinema, for example. <laughs> Everything is there. These are mine. Um, so you don't have to go looking for books. Um, you get this booklet. If you join the class, for each lesson, there's this booklet. The booklet has all the details. And uh, I can share with you the teacher's guides as well. And uh, what we will then, I will not be dictating notes for you to write. It's a waste of time. You have the note when I send this to you. I will be doing questions and answers from each lesson instead every day that you have to write in a CR book or something. No, the content is not similar at all to ICT. We have a very small portion about um, new media, internet, right? Very small portion about tiny portion about I think that the only thing that's related to ICT that is only also one page or two pages right so it's not yeah um, Z score for media is usually high no the notes will not be shared with you unless you join the class officially through Sateha College okay 
and the presentations also uh, i will not anyway even if you join the class i don't share my presentations with anybody you will have to take screenshots of the uh, presentations but uh, the notes you will get if you join the class right after you make the payments and properly join the class you will get the note for each lesson yeah the paper is another story i will show you um, through word how the paper is done no it is not sold right it is not sold you have to be a member of the class to get it it's not sold right it's just a note it is for those who are attending the classes 2022 i told you before also um you, there's no time to do a class for you okay uh yeah the paper let me share So um, this is how the paper is done. This is, I think this will be useful for you if you are facing the exam uh, in January also, right? So there's paper one. Paper one has 50 MCQs, right? So each MCQ question will have five answers for you to select from. This will give you 50 marks. Okay. And paper two. Paper two. So paper two, you have five sorry seven main questions select an answer only five okay each main question has four parts like one two Three, four. Okay. For the first part, you get four marks. Second part, you get eight marks. Third part, you get 12 marks. Fourth part, you get 16 marks. So uh, the total will be 40. Forty marks for each question. Right? Then if you are doing, you are asked to do five questions, right? So 40 marks will be multiplied by five equals 200 marks. Then that 200 marks is divided by four, right? Then you get your mark out of 50. So that 50 plus this 50 is your total mark. How the baby is done. Okay. Hari? Now listen. Um, any questions about the paper? No.
And this, yes, paragraph answers, it depends. If it's low marks, if it's a you know little amount of marks, then you have to write little. If it's a big amount of marks, like 12 or 16, then you have to write lengthy answers. Okay. Right. Any other questions? Yes, I think I have uh, given you a brief idea about the subject and how the class will be done, right? Um, um, I think uh, so if you join the class, you can uh, continue from uh, lesson one. I think even if you're a private candidate, there's don't have any doubts. If you're committed, you can get this done because I will be giving you everything. Right, and 2023 it will be a speed class. Right. Um. Yes, yes, 2023 class, you will be learning from the beginning, but it's a speed theory class because I, I will have to do it a little bit fast, okay? Because 12 lessons have to be covered before, I think August, September next year, right? That will be when you'll be having your exam, right? So um, we'll be doing it a little bit fast, but from lesson one onwards, right? Any other questions? Two thousand and twenty-four levels also from lesson one onwards. It's a normal theory class. We don't have to do a fast because we are your exam. There's plenty of time, so we have we can cover it in a normal amount of. Class. The class fees, you will have to uh, inquire the college, okay? So I have given the class timetable also to the college and uh, they will inform you on this. Any other question regarding the fees at the class timetable, right? This college will uh, let you know. And uh, then we can start as soon as possible. Okay, 2022 uh, children, you can uh, contact the Sateha College for some seminars. If they are willing, we can organize uh, together some seminars for you in which I can share with you whatever the necessary content for you to do your exam. Okay, right. Right. Okay. Uh, I can, I'm going to hand this over to Sateha College now, because now when we start the class, I think you've got a general idea how my teaching will be like and what are the lessons and what the subject is about. Right. Yes, uh, Rukeya. Right. Contact the college. I will also speak to the college. And uh, we can organize some uh, seminars for 2022 students um, before A levels, right? Uh, let's see. And they will uh, inform you. Please uh, inquire about that from the college. Okay. Um, Okay, kids, so I'm going to hand this over to uh, Sateha College. They also have some important uh, messages to share with you. Um, I will be here. So if you can, if you have any questions, you can still ask me in the chat box. We, if you join the class, we can continue from lesson one onwards, 2023 and 2024. There's going to be two separate classes, okay? Um, okay. 
That's it then. I'll be here. Uh, you can chat with me. Uh, but you can listen to Sateha College representative now. Thank you, Miss. Uh, so, hello, students. Uh, this is Kavya from the management of Sateha College. I hope you all had an effective session with Miss Sevandi. So, how was it? Any feedback? Did you all enjoy the class? Okay, I hope you all enjoyed. So, here I'm going to give a small brief on Sateha College. Maybe some of you all already came for the first free session in the evening. So for those who are not aware, Satya College is an online-based institute which has been running for more than a year now with 1,500 students. So we, are, we have been focusing on commerce stream so far. But now we, in order to broaden your aspects of learning, we also thought of uh, introducing art stream. So I hope it's helpful for all of you. And uh, this free session was conducted by our well-experienced teacher, Ms. Sevandi. So if you all like it, if you all want to continue and develop your knowledge on this subject, she'll be conducting the classes in the future as well. From January, the official classes will be scheduled. And um, if you all want to contact any further details, if you want to register, please contact me. My number will be sent to the arts group, free session group, as well as in the chat now. So if you all want to register, contact me and I will let you know the further process uh, to be uh, handled, right? So I hope you all enjoy the class and see you all, all in the next class as well. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you all um, in the classes that we are planning to start. Okay. Take care. Good night. God bless you all. Bye. Bye.